Okay, the potential relay. This is a very common relay used in hard start compressors for refrigeration and air conditioning. Uh, it has three usable terminals on it. If you look at this one, it's got a five right there, it's got a two right there, and it's got a one. Now some of these will have one on four or six. Uh, they're usually just blanks. There's nothing inside. It's just a connection point. Uh, and there, the wiring is done here. Now, this is a normally closed relay that energizes using back EMF. So it's a little bit of an odd duck, but it works really good. And uh, so under normal conditions, switch will be closed when the compressor starts and that'll have the um, start winding energized. When the compressor starts speeding up and reaches about 75 percent of its rated rotation, then there's enough back EMF energy to energize this relay and shut, well open the relay. So it shuts off the uh, start winding. Now these are usually used on PSC motors as permanent split capacitors. It's actually going to be a capacitor start, capacitor run motor. So it's got a large capacitor placed in the start circuit through this relay to energize the, uh, the start winding. Uh, we're going to take this apart and we're going to look inside and see what there is there. Okay, here's what it looks like when I pulled the cover off. The contacts are right here, and you can see they're closed. Now when this energizes, this little armature here is going to come down and it opens up the contacts. Very simple. Not much to this little bugger. Now the coil on this is kind of interesting because it's designed to use high voltage. Let's say I have a 240 volt circuit. Uh, the back EMF stacks on top of the voltage supplied to the unit. So this thing will be somewhere between 350 and 400 uh, volts before this closes down. Remember now that back EMF is going to be low as the compressor starts. It will of course be zero when the compressor starts which would put 220 volts through this. But as the motor speeds up then that voltage is going to increase as a back EMF winds up with the motor. And when it gets high enough, bingo, opens it up and stays that way as long as the compressor is running and does not get below about 75 percent of its rated speed and in which case if it does it drops back in again starts a uh, start circuit up until it reaches that 75 percent that's all there is to it I, I will take this cover off here and show you the winding Okay, here's a look at the coil close up. You can see how small that wire is. The reason that wire is so small is because you don't want that thing energizing until you get a very high voltage. So there's quite a bit of resistance with all those very tiny windings. A very long piece of wire. Uh, I'll compare it to uh, a thermostat number 20 wire here and you can see the difference in size. Okay you can see on the right that's number 20 thermostat wire and on the left is several of the strands of the wire that is being wound around that coil. So uh, it's a very long wire and it's very small diameter. That's the type you would use if you're trying to uh, energize it only at high voltage. So that's the first part of the potential relay. 
we'll go into how it uh, is wired in in the next video.